Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a tag. I know it's been a very long time since I've done one of these. Um, this is the Half Human Heroes book tag. This is created by Jeremy Fee, and he has officially tagged all of the authors. So the Half Human Heroes, uh, it's, a, it's an anthology that Jeremy has put together. I have one of my stories in there called The Band Gets Together. We'll get to that in a little bit. And Jeremy has created this tag with uh, questions based on each of the stories within it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Dane reads... All right, so question one, a foreword by Philip Chase. Give a shout out to someone in the fantasy booktube community. Well, when I think fantasy booktube, I just think of uh, Cam Wolf of uh, Page Nomad, so it's gotta be Cam. Question number two, Dishonored in Death by Mason AD. Who are your favorite sibling characters in a story? That's a really good question. My favorite siblings, I mean, tempting just because we're doing a fantasy tab to say uh, Fred and George Weasley. I'm sure there are, there are better siblings, They're just none of them spring to mind at the moment. Yeah, that's who we're going to go with, unless maybe uh, from June, uh, Baron Harkonnen's son. So who do we have? Is it, is it Fade? Fade, something or other, and something else. I don't know. So I guess it is Fred and George Weasley. I guess that's what I got for you. But the Baron Harkonnen's sons were cool. Question number three, Goatman's Bridge by PM Brown. What is your favourite story with a supernatural in it? Uh, actually just makes me think of BuzzFeed Unsolved. But uh, my favourite story with a supernatural in it, I mean, I read so many. Um, but it'd probably have to be like something Stephen Kingy. Um, I don't know, maybe like Salem's Lot, I guess. No, it probably it. Um, the Stand, I guess, has elements of the supernatural in it, and The Stand is my favourite um, King novel. I mean, I do have an it tattoo, so we'll go with that. Question number four: The band gets together by Dane Cobain. What is your favourite story that incorporates music? Okay, well, this is, uh, The Band Gets Together is basically chapter one of an upcoming novel of mine called Monsters of Rock, so I could cheat and say that, but probably the, the novel that's had the most influence on Monsters of Rock would be Soul Music by Terry Pratchett, because it is, like, comic fantasy very much based on that. Um, there are, I mean, there are tons of them. I mean, even, like, Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill, that was cracking. Um, I think most books these days and most stories have some form of music in it, you know? Um, but yeah, we'll go with soul music as uh, that is the, the biggest influence probably on that specific short story. Home of the Gnome by Jeremy Fee. What is your favourite playful or interesting title? I mean, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep came to mind. I think that's a pretty good title. Um, I quite like Interesting Times, again, by Terry Pratchett because that comes from the curse of May You Live in Interesting Times. Um, but yeah, we'll go with Do Android Stream of Electric Sheep. Either that or like anything by like Mandy DeSandra, uh, Fox News Fuckfest, that was good. Oh, Ask Goblins of Auschwitz by Cameron something, I think it was, I think it was. Uh, that was, that was a good title, yeah. Question number six, Abandoned Hope by Jessica Haas. What is your favourite moral quandary in a story? Ooh, that is a good one. I mean, I guess, for me, the thing that, that I think of is like, Isaac Asimov. Um, he has some really good stuff when it comes to like the laws of robotics and whether and how they can be broken. But actually, no, thinking about it, it's going to be what happens at the end of um, The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. It's my, my favourite fan, well, my favourite books are, are that trilogy. My favourite book of all time is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. I have a Yorick Burness and a Panther Beyond tattooed on my arm. This is just the tattoo tag, isn't it? Um, but yeah, at the end of that book, it's kind of hard to talk about it too much because it's complicated and also you want to avoid spoilers. But basically, Will and Lyra are from different uh, universes. They fall in love with each other, um, but they can't stay away from their own universe for too long because their bodies start to like break down on them, basically. Um, but when they cross from one universe to another, they're also unleashing some bad into the world so they also can't um like hop between universes and spend five years in lyra's five years in worlds five years in lyra's so they have to this moral quandary of whether they sh whether they should do that or whether they should live the rest of their lives apart um they can also they can leave one window open between the worlds but for reasons that will become clear if you read the books they can't have their own little private window because there's another very important window they've created so they have to choose between their love for each other and the, the right thing. And I thought that was pretty well done. Question number seven, Amaranthine Amphitheatre by Liam QD Hall. Who is your favorite immortal character? Um, I guess Dracula, he was pretty good, but he, he, I mean, he died, so I guess he's not immortal. I don't think I read that many books with characters in, in that are immortal. Um, I guess maybe actually probably death from the disc world, it would have to be death. 
Question number eight. Lies of the Sunstone and the Hybrid Prince by S.D. Houston. Who is your favourite thief character or story with a heist in it? The best I can come up with again is going back to Harry Potter when they break into Gringotts and, and steal shit from that. And even then, I don't think that's really theft. Aren't they stealing their own, their own crap by that point? I can't even remember. Um, yeah, that's the best I got for you. Question number nine. Red Eyes by Kupal Josef Kark. What is your favourite story with an adventuring party or found family in it? Or found family. That's hard to say there. An adventuring party or found family. Probably, um, I'm going to go and say The Last Keeper by J.V. Hilliard. He's actually one of my clients. Um, but it's a really moving uh, fantasy novel. And yeah, there's definitely like elements of found family to that. Question number 10. More or less human by Margaret Pinyard. What is your favourite story with a surprise twist or reveal in it? Um... I'm really bad at with with twists. I always seem to predict them by accident. So it's very rare that like a book has a big twist in it that blows my mind, you know? Um, I guess like the, 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 the one that comes to mind is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by uh, Agatha Christie. And if you've read it, you will know why. Question number 11, The Defense of Burgon by David Wiley. What is your favorite battle in a story? Again, I don't read that many because I don't read that much fantasy, and this is terrible because Half Human Heroes is like a like fantasy anthology. I mean, mine's mine's comic fantasy there, but because of that, I don't know if there's many that I've read that have battles. I did like the Battle of Helm's Deep, but I, you know, I like that in the movie more than I did uh, in in the Two Towers. Um, I guess like Battle Royale by Kushan Takami. That's that's a battle. It's just an ongoing battle royale between Japanese students being forced to kill each other. What what's not to love there? Okay, so tag people. Uh, I'm going to do what I've been doing of late for tags. I say of late, I haven't done a tag for like six months. Um, which is that I'm going to go into my comments and I'm going to tag some people who've recently commented. We'll do ten. So I'm going to tag uh, Anna Moshoshin. I am going to tag One Book, One Review, Time With Book, Ms. Reads A Lot, Kelly O'Connor. Kelly Reads A Lot. Is that, that's, yeah. The Archive, Graham Quigley, uh, Al Big Hard Books and Classics, Another Bibliophile Reads. Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll do one more. We will also tag... Um, I'll tag A.B. Frank, even though he hasn't really been doing, uh, doing, doing videos that much recently. But yes, I'll go ahead and tag him. And you, if you're watching, you should also do this tag. So there we have it. That was the Half Human Heroes book tag. Do go ahead and check out the anthology via the link below if you're interested. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.